Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of Laravel 11 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB and in this video we are going to start integrating the admin panel, admin template we are going to integrate ok so we are going to download the admin LTE template and we'll start integrating the admin panel for our Laravel e-commerce website ok so uh, we are going to download the admin LTE template here in video description you can check that I have given complete steps that you can take okay in this video uh, so I'm going to copy this admin LTE and we'll open this one okay so this is the website uh, we are going to download the latest admin LTE template that is the best template available for the admin panel right now okay uh, so we are going to click on download and here we will go down and uh, we're going to find its zip file okay yeah here it is we are going to click on this source code and going to download this it's the latest version that is available right now okay so i think it has been downloaded yes so i will just uh, unzip it and we will start uh, copy uh, once it will get downloaded we will start copy from it to our laravel folder okay so uh, yeah so here see this is the complete admin panel and we have got all the files here and we can check the index.html it provides the three version of index.html uh, one is the uh, normal index.html that is the first design they have provided that we have already done earlier uh, and uh, we have also done this index2.html this one also we have done in the laravel 10 series and now we are going to integrate this index 3 this time and we are going to use its design as well okay so its sidebar its header its footer and its middle content we are going to copy this one in our uh, in our laravel packet okay so uh, step by step we are going to copy so it will take around two videos to uh, to make it possible okay uh, and first of all we are going to copy uh, the css js all these kind of images all these kind of files okay so at the one end i will open this one and on the other end i'm going to open my project okay so it's inside the zap i'm going to open here the zap as well okay i'm going to move it here okay zap st docs project 11 and inside the public folder i'm going to create another folder see all the steps <coughs> all these steps are given in the video description you can just require to follow okay uh, so you can see all these steps are given here okay so now uh, we are going to copy all the folders in the public and uh, see here I am going to uh, okay so I'm going to create a few folders that uh, we are required uh, so first of all we are going to create the, here the admin folder okay so inside admin after that I'm going to create the further folders here and uh, let's open uh, here and uh, in this uh, let's see that where these files are located uh, these files are located uh, here in uh, public admin CSS and okay so it's located here in DAST folder here and here it's located and I will simply copy CSS and JS I will copy these and will paste it here inside the admin folder that we have just created okay so after copy these files i will create another folder here and that is uh, i will not copy that one i will create the images folder here okay so i'm going to copy all the images from here let's go inside and copy all the images and we are going to copy this one in uh, here inside the images folder so after this uh, we are going to copy the plugins folder uh, let's copy first of all these images so it's done now go back and in template let's come out 
and here you can see the plugins folder i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here as well inside admin so after this uh, we will come to the resources part resources views part uh, where we are going to create some files for the layout okay uh, we are going to create the header footer sidebar of our project see if you have seen the laravel 10 series then you will not face any kind of issues if you have not seen then you can at least uh, see some of the videos of the laravel 10 series that will tell you the structure of our e-commerce website okay so structure of the admin panel as well uh, for the front end as well okay so like if we talk about the admin panel we are going to have this structure like it's the it's having the header it's having the sidebar it's having the footer okay and the content keeps on uh, keeps very very okay content like the sometime dashboard content will come sometime products content will come but its header footer and sidebar will remain the same okay so uh, and all this we are going to create one layout blade file inside layout there will be header and footer uh, see uh, we are going to include and we are going to include the sidebar as well uh, but this content keeps on vary and we are going to create the pages like dashboard.blade.php products.blade.php that keeps on changing okay and like uh, for laravel 10 there is the minimum php 8.1 support but uh, for uh, laravel 11 minimum php support is <coughs> php 8.2 but we have already installed laravel 11 so there is no issue at all okay but you must know the admin panel structure so we are going to follow this structure in the laravel 11 series as well okay so uh so i will find that uh, we uh, see, see copy is still going on and it will take a few more seconds okay so after that uh, we are going to uh, make uh, changes in resources we are going to uh, create new files okay we can start our process okay uh, like uh, let's go back and here uh, let's go inside the resources views and inside views we are going to create uh, one folder later on we will also create the front folder but right now we are going to create here the admin folder like this okay so inside admin folder uh, now we are going to create the files like uh, layout.blade.php header like i explained to you like all the required files that we required for our admin panel so right click uh, so we will now uh, see we're going to create the files in mac like this touch header dot blade dot php touch uh, footer dot blade dot php touch sidebar dot blade dot php like this and finally touch layout dot blade dot php <coughs> okay so so these are the files we require and you can see that we will go inside that these files must have been created yes and if you are using the window you can simply go inside the fol folder and can create these files okay so uh, let's open the layout.bay.php file this is our project i'm going to close the earlier files that uh, we have done some kind of changes in the last video but now i'm going to open the layout.blade.php file and we are going to copy complete index index uh, that uh, index uh, html of the index here okay so i am going to now open this admin lt template once again and here what i am going to do i am going to simply uh, bring that index 3.html so we are going to copy from here so here so i'm going to copy this complete content and will paste here like this okay after that uh, we are going to start our steps uh, further steps uh, but first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to just move all these files here <coughs> okay so now uh, 
see this one is not required we can close okay so uh, now we can start making the changes in this uh, like uh, if we will scroll down and here we can see the nav bar is here i can put this complete nav bar uh, to our f uh, header header file here okay and we are going to align our content as well like this so we are going to include this uh, here nav bar here okay so here we will simply include like this uh, include inside admin uh, then we will create one folder uh, see i've not created one folder but we need to create one more folder layouts and then uh, header okay so uh, see here there is some change i want to do here uh, so because uh, we must not add them directly so what i'm going to do i'm going to close all these files and i'm going to create one folder here new folder admin and inside that i'm going to create the layout folder i forgot to create it earlier so now these files i'm going to put inside the layout okay so i think this is the perfect way of doing this because outside we are going to create other files like the dashboard.blade.php login.blade.php but in layout these files uh, we are going to create because we are going to use these files for uh, in, in, we are going to include these files in the uh, other files as well okay uh, uh, accept layout.blade.php file okay uh, so here we are going to create one more file uh, that uh, going to uh, create here like this also there is the option uh, new okay new file okay sorry new file test file and here outside i'm going to create the other file that uh, is the dashboard.bay.php so okay so what i'm going to uh, you know it has open yeah inside admin okay you can see the path is inside admin so it's fine so we are going to create here the dashboard dot blade dot php so let's save it uh, okay first of all we are going to use it as txt after that we can uh, make the changes okay so what we are going to do we are going to rename its name dashboard dot blade dot php okay so now we are going to open the files once again i'm going to inside the layout first of all and we'll copy all these files and we'll open here so i will open the layout.blade.pp file once again and here you can see the header we have already copied and we have put it like this and now this is the sidebar so sidebar also uh, we can copy this complete and we'll put it in sidebar okay you can see the complete uh, code we have copied like this so yeah. i will align its content as well i will save it and here uh, once again i'm going to copy this one and will paste here and here i'm going to add here the sidebar uh, after this let's come down this is the middle content okay so this one is the middle content and uh, first let's uh, copy the footer let's cut from here and we're going to copy inside footer not much content in footer and once again uh, i'm going to copy this one it will save our time and we'll paste here and here i'm going to make change in footer okay so this is the middle content this one okay so we are going to put it in uh, dashboard blade file okay so let's open the dashboard file that we have created uh, earlier okay so we are going to put inside this file okay so there is this syntax uh, so that we can show the content here dynamically uh, 
whenever we will go to any uh, page it will automatically come from that page so here we will add yield content like this okay so uh, so these are the things that we have done in this video okay so uh, let's review these steps okay we have downloaded the admin lt template we have created the admin folder and inside that uh, you you are required to create the other folder that is the layout folder okay create admin folder add public to make it like okay so see uh, yeah uh, we are going to create the admin folder inside public folder and then we'll first copy the css js and images and we will also copy that uh, plugins folder as well okay from the template and after that we have created the admin folder inside resources views and i forgot to create the layout folder earlier but after that i have created the layout folder as well so make sure that you have created that layout folder okay so we can put uh, inside the layout folder admin uh, slash layout okay we can put header footer and sidebar everything inside the layout folder here you can see we i have already mentioned under the layout folder we will create a layout dot blade dot PHP file so the path of the layout dot blade here it must look like this admin layout then layout dot blade dot PHP file okay so the path must look like this and we will copy content from the HTML. then we will create these files as well inside the layout folder and we will copy all the content uh, from this folder and we'll include it inside the layout uh, file as well okay so these are the steps that we have taken uh, so in the next video we will continue working on merging the admin lt template in our laravel 11 website okay so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye